up you guys welcome back as you can already tell from the title today's video is one that I'm super excited about it's gonna be a first for me I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me super happy with the way my look turned out I'm gonna be using the new pixie pretties uh, pixie was nice enough to go ahead and send over all four palettes we're gonna go ahead and get into these and then also we're gonna go in and reorganize my vanity I'm gonna go through all my drawers like it needs a serious clean out so it's gonna be a long one grab your pink drink coffee whatever it is you want to sip on and relax it's gonna be a long one thank you so much for watching don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you do enjoy my channel and yeah before I keep rambling let's just go ahead and get straight into it okay guys so I have all four palettes in front of me we're gonna use all of them um, I'm gonna start off of course, you know, the ones we've got, we've got the eyeshadow palette by Tina Young. We've got the makeup by Janice highlight palette right here. Super pretty. Um, and then we've got the promise palette right here. This is the sculpting palette. And then this gorgeous lip palette by Louise Rowe. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off with the eyeshadow. I have already prepped my face. I went in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and my Too Faced um, primer. And I've also went ahead and primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I went ahead and set them. So we're going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. And I do have some questions that I asked you guys last week on Instagram that I'm going to be answering as we're doing this makeup. And then... Um, you know after I get through with makeup we're gonna do the vanity clean out so it's gonna be a long video but let's go ahead and get into this pixie palette these shadows look gorgeous um, I'm gonna use my bling brushes e7 to go ahead and I want to lay down a really pretty lid color so I think we're gonna go with sweet pea right here really pretty pink and it's really reflective for pigmented so you guys asked me some questions last week on my Instagram I told you guys I was doing a get ready with me and I went ahead and put them all on a um, piece of paper right in front of me and I'm gonna go ahead and start answering them so one of the first questions I got was how and when did you grow your pink Instagram account I know there's a lot of you that follow me that have just started your own pink pages and you guys were wanting some advice. So I started my um, Instagram account. I'm going to go in with this transition shade right here. This is boxy right there. Um, so I started my Instagram page, my pink Instagram page, uh, a little over a year ago. I think I started it right when COVID happened. Uh, maybe in like March or something and I had like I don't know 200 followers on my Instagram and then you know I remember wanting to hit 1k so bad and when I did I couldn't believe it and um, honestly like I'm no expert at growing on social media I'm still new to it myself but I will say one thing that I think definitely helps is one staying committed don't get discouraged because honestly Hold on before I keep going. Um, I'm going to go in with, what is this? Is this Daily Dose? Yeah, let's go in with Daily Dose right here on the outer. Um, but don't get discouraged. I know like when I was starting out, you think, am I ever going to grow? Yes, you're going to grow after time. I mean, it takes time to build a following. Um, I just hit 11K and I can't believe it. Of course, I don't want to stop there. You know, I would love to get to 100,000 one day, but who knows? But I am definitely thankful for each and every one of you that do follow me. And um, just because you don't have a lot of followers doesn't mean anything. You could have 100,000 followers and have a 2% engagement rate. And, um, or you could have 10,000 followers and have a 9% engagement rate, which is what gets you um, sponsorships and PR, you know, if that's your goal. So if you're building a um, really supportive, I don't know, I guess you would say little family off of your page, um, that's what really counts. So, but yeah, it's been about a year. 
Uh, I'm going to go in with this one right here. This one is one, two, three, four. Shout out right there. Ooh, that one is really okay. I have to blend this one pretty good. Um, but yeah, definitely don't get discouraged. I think I'm going to go in over the brow right up here with this one. Um, and then one of the next questions I got was, what do you do for a living? So I have had all kind of jobs, um, over my lifetime. <laughs> I've worked in retail. I've been, um, I've worked at a loan company. I've worked at a gym. Um, but right now, so a year ago, right before COVID started, I had, um, went to dental school to be a dental assistant. Um, I'm going to go in with this and just do the outer crease right there. And then we're going to do the lower lid. Um, but I went to school to be a dental assistant. And after I finished it, I realized that it honestly just wasn't for me. There's a lot more to it than I thought there would be. And um, any of you out there that are dental assistants or dental hygienists, like props, on, <laughs> props up to you because it was just a lot more than I thought it would be and I don't think it's something I would truly enjoy so I mean one day I'm glad I've got my certification one day I mean who knows I might get back into it but as of right now no I don't have a job my husband and I own a business he runs it um, and I you know take care of our daughter um, and I'm basically just a stay-at-home mom. And uh, I would really love to be able to make money off of my Instagram and my YouTube and have that as a job, even if it's not like a full, you know, income, just something to help out. But yeah, stay-at-home mommy. So I'm gonna go in, here's the look. Of course, you can't tell right now really will get set off once I do the eyeliner and my lashes, but I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner and line my lid. Those shadows really blended out super good, um, and I really like the shimmer ones. They had a lot of pigment on them. So, um, yeah, as you guys know, it just hit 11K. I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway, and I asked you guys what all you wanted to see in it, and a lot of you said anything pink or makeup, um, juicy couture, so I'm going on vacation within the next week or two. Um, it may take me a week or two to get everything piled together, because I kind of want to have a variety of stuff, and I'm hoping when I go out of town... Um, you guys know I always hit the Home Goods and the TJ Maxx's, and I'm hoping I'll find some good juicy stuff for you guys. So, but stay tuned because I am going to be doing that. Um, and then let me go ahead and put my mascara on. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. My wand is bent. So where is my other one? All right, I guess we'll just open a new one. Well, I've already opened my new one. One second. I guess we use the bent wand. Um, and then one of the next questions I got was if you could be on any brand's PR list, what brand would it be? Um, honestly, I would love to one day be able to get on Two Faces um, PR list. Like, I'm thankful to be on any PR list that I am right now. Too Faced has always had a special place in my heart. I would love to one day be able to work up to uh, get makeup from Too Faced for sure. Okay, so we got the mascara on. I'm going to go in with the sculpting palette right here. And go ahead and do some contouring. I can get this palette open without breaking a nail. So, one of the next questions I got was, do you ever get, do you ever get mad when people copy you? 
Um, and I answered one that was very similar to this last week on my Instagram when I was doing questions. I'm going to go in and contour with this one right here. This is the Moss Day right there. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this one too. So, uh, no, I don't get mad because honestly, that's kind of, I mean, that's what I'm here for. Like if I'm showing something on Instagram, I'm, um, you know, sharing my finds with you guys, sharing my style. No, I don't get mad. And, you know, most people, if it's something that you know they took inspiration from you, most people do credit you. Um, and I mean, I take inspiration from people all the time and I try to credit them. We're all human. You can't. No, I don't get mad um, is the short answer. No. I mean, I take it as a compliment. It's very flattering. Uh, no, I don't get mad. So I'm going to go ahead and keep warming up with this. One of the next questions I got was, are you married? Yes, I am married. Um, so I married my high school sweetheart. Um, we've been together since we were 15. Of course, we broke up kind of off and on like here in high school. But yes, I am married. Um, yeah, we've been together since we were 15 years old. It's kind of crazy, but definitely wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of under eye powder. I'm going to use this one right here. It kind of has like a banana setting look. This one's called Yak. And I'm going to use my SLMS Glam Brush to do that. Right under here. Set any creases. Okay, let's see. Let's find a brush. So that was the Pixie Promise palette um, right here. And I went ahead and contoured that and set my under eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this Pixie by Makeup by Denise palette right here for the highlight. You guys, this is my first one I've done, so I know like it's probably not close up, and I know the shadows from the ring light are popping off, but give me time, I promise. I'll get there one day. Um, I'm going to use this one for the blush. We're going to go in with Golden Hour. Super pretty color. I love a good pinky blush for the summer. Yes. Can you guys see this? None. There we go. Really brought the cheek to life. So the next question I got was, how do you curl your hair and do you wear extensions? Yes, I do wear hair extensions. Um, I used to have super long hair. It was longer than my extensions. Um, and I got my hair trimmed and it just hasn't grown back quick. My natural hair is like, I don't know, maybe right about here. Um, and I do wear hair extensions. These are Luxie hair extensions. Um, I've actually got a company that is sending me some hair extensions um, next week. I'm going to switch. Um, I'm kind of ready to try a new brand. I think Pixie sent me an email uh, a couple weeks back saying they were discontinuing their balayage collection, which is this. So I'm ready to try something new. Um, what was it? I do wear hair extensions and I, the curling iron I use, you guys, I have, let's go in with the highlight. Um, there is a tutorial on my YouTube channel of how I curl my hair. I just use a curling wand. Okay, where is my highlight brush? I just use a curling wand and I curl it in sections. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this highlight right here. This looks like a good, really medium shade. This one is called Lit. Ooh, super golden. See that? But yeah, I'm ready to try a new set. The um, I've never tried Bellamy hair extensions, and I think one day I might want to try those as well. Okay, you guys. So all we've got left is the lashes and lips. I'm going to go ahead and spray a little setting spray. This is the Max Fix Plus Gold Light. I really like this one because um, it's got kind of like a sparkly gold finish on it. I feel like it gives you a little bit more of a glow. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with MAC Spice Lip Pencil. Alright, 
So the next question I got over here is how long did it take you to get your beauty room exactly the way you wanted it? Um, my beauty room is still not exactly the way I want it. I love my room, but I feel like, like I will never fully be finished with it. Um, hold on before I finish answering that, let's go in and do the lips. This is the Louise Row palette right here. Um, and I think... Let's go in with this one right here, this really pretty pink, and this is, try me, strut. This is strut. Um, but no, I don't think I'll ever fully be satisfied. As you guys know, like, I wanna redo my closet and uh, get a pack system. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my room, but it's not fully finished. Um, but, it feels like it took me forever you know I had to finally get my husband to do all the work in here it took like a year of me nagging him uh, but he finally did and he did such a good job but I mean it takes a while like going in you know he went in and sanded the walls I wanted my paint to be flawless um, he added crown mold uh, and then you know finding everything to fill it with um, it takes a while but yeah, I'm super happy with it. I can't wait. So I went ahead and mixed this one as well. I mixed Such a Babe and Strut together. But yeah, I cannot wait to get my pack system done and redo my floors. Seriously, cannot wait. Super pretty. I really like that color. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with my lashes. Wow, what a difference does it make? Is anybody else like me? Once I started wearing false lashes, I can't go back. I feel naked without them, which sucks because, what, 10 minutes of your day every day, sitting there waiting on the glue to dry, but man, they make a difference. Um, I went in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyelashes in Sex Kitten. I love these lashes. I also love the style Doll Face. Um, but yeah, this is the look. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I think everything was really uh, blendable, had really good pigment. Really impressed with the lip um, lipstick. Really like this color. I'll definitely wear this again. I would definitely... I mean, I would really recommend all these palettes, but I would say my two must would be the, ooh, that's a hard one. Definitely really like the lipstick palette, for sure recommend that. Um, everything was really great, but I would for sure go with, honestly, this sculpting palette. It really, this, if I had to pick two to recommend, I would say the sculpting palette and the lipstick palette. Don't get me wrong, I love these as well, but just my opinion, I would for sure go for these. If you can get all four, definitely grab them. Pixie is super affordable, really good quality. Um, yeah, really happy with the way it turned out, I love it. And also, I think for sure, this would be a great highlight for the summer. This one right here, lit. I mean, you guys saw, look at this. Just a really pretty um, highlight. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll into the vanity clean out and um, get started on that. Okay guys, so I just got through filming the get ready with me. This is the mess we have. I'm gonna go in and show you guys my drawers and what a mess they are, and then we're gonna get started on this reorganizing. So, we're not gonna do the top. We're gonna go ahead and go in with these drawers. As you can see, everything is like crammed in here. I haven't cleaned this vanity out in probably a year. Some of these drawers won't even close. They're so packed full, but yeah. So we're gonna go drawer by drawer, pull everything out. Look at this, clutter everywhere. And then, I go back in, wipe everything down, reorganize, maybe get rid of some old stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. This is gonna be a lot. 
All right, so I'm gonna start with this first drawer right here. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. Messy. A lot of this stuff needs to be chunked. Like I have old Too Faced boxes in here. I don't know what I'm keeping these for. So we're gonna put that in the garbage pile. This foundation is probably old. Probably just need to chunk it. Then we're gonna go ahead and start. I think what I'm gonna do first though, go ahead and wipe this down. Look how dirty this is. God, this is gonna be a mess. I think I'm gonna pull all this out, lay a towel down in my floor, and then show you guys. What is this? Some birthday cards. Birthday card for my sister. <laughs> Palettes. Uh, how often do you guys clean your abandoned house? You're better at it than I am because I literally We'll just shove stuff in the door until it won't fit anymore. We got trash, some old fake nails, and a bunch of hair. <laughs> Let me just show you guys the depth of which this madness goes. Look at this. So I need to put these MAC foundations up in a little bag because we're going to do the back to MAC. You know, if you save your empties, you can get a free lipstick, straightener that doesn't belong in here. Why I throw these in here, I don't know. This one's not empty. This still has ooh, brand new primer. Nice. Garbage. Ooh, I remember this palette. This is from Yasmin's Glam Room on Instagram. You guys look at this packaging. Super pretty. Okay. Is this one empty too? Yes. That was one of my favorite ones. Empty needs to be thrown away. I don't know why I never use this anymore. You guys see how this is piling up? All right.
you guys are wondering what that noise is, it's my squeaky vanity chair. This is a really good translucent powder. I need to use more. Okay, so we got those. Setting powders over here. We'll do some more MAC blushes right here. Or doing it one handed. In this next drawer, I figured I would just do some Too Faced palettes. You guys imagine if I had my pack system right now and I had all of this displayed with some clear drawers in the front. Looks so good. All right, the max not gonna fit. Do that right there. Two face. And then I'm still stuck with this big palette that I don't know where to store. I guess we'll put it in the back, even though I'm not able to see it. Okay, so in this next drawer is really a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to go ahead and combine some of these blushes back on the other side of the vanity. And then I found another MAC palette that was down there, so we're going to go ahead and add it back over here. And then I came back over here and added this other little organizer for the blushes and bronzers. In this drawer, I figured I would put these pixie palettes, maybe a little bit. and then maybe we'll do some little eyeshadows in the little side. Okay, so I just put some of my single shadows and pigments right there and I figured I would just leave them in here with some of my other MAC stuff. Okay, so I think in here I'm just gonna do a couple like odds and ends stuff. I don't know where to put those mascaras. Um, I've just got some steel eyeshadows and some mascaras. Still, I don't know, these are like 50% left, but I don't want to chunk them in case I ever run out. And then we've just got some lip products. Shadow pigments, some palettes back there. Um, the next door drawer I just left for some junk, and then down here I put like my hair stuff and that big palette. On a side note, the good thing is after cleaning all this out, I have six MAC products, so I can go back and get a free lipstick now. 
And then over here on this drawer, I did um, some of my MAC bronzers and blushes. Then we did eyeshadow palettes. Um, and then I did some more eyeshadow palettes and these are like lip products and some sample size stuff. And then down here, this is really miscellaneous stuff. And then that. So it's a little bit better. I know it's not totally, totally organized, but soon I think I'm gonna try and get some organizers that have dividers and hopefully everything won't move and it will be displayed a lot more clearly, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Happy Pink Wednesday, and I'll see you guys in the next